Clementina and Dina, Rosita and Clementina. From the corner of Foley, bet your life is something you're selling. And if you get them broken, you could get them all for nothing. Don't make a row. The enemy's on a spiral table. Ah, uh, Jim and Dina, Rosita and I believe it was at the age of six when I started to know about the Mighty Sparrow and get familiar with it, with his music. In school, we had many calypso competitions and what our English teachers and social studies teachers would do is make sure that we knew about calypso music. And of course, the focus was on the calypso king, Sparrow. Uh, my parents had this love for music, particularly calypso and soca music. So. It was always there. It was a kind of, you know, understanding that this is the music. Sparrow is, is one of the biggest names there. So he was always present in that way. My mom and my dad played a lot of blues music in house. So everybody knows I grew up in the Calypso facility. I you know, being around my dad, so I've been hearing those music. Through TTT, of course, there was a, a program called Holiday's Father's Day program live. And Sparrow was doing a set, and I remember just falling in love with his voice then. Three words to describe the music of Sparrow. Entertaining, adventurous, and melodic. Different, funny, and raw. Provocative, uh, melismatic, and enjoyable. Infectious, animated, and actually educational. Sweet, vibrant, and um, I would have to include cheeky. What sets Sparrow apart from his other artists are a couple things. Um, his, his vocal ability is unbelievable. He's a man that can actually, like, sing ballads. Why do I keep fooling myself When I know you love someone else My favorite sparrow is not a popular sparrow, but it's a sparrow because it has a story to it now. All who feel the great this year go feel me with so got pressure. Children go to school and learn well. Otherwise, later on in life, you go catch well. That Congo man. That Congo man is it. I can't do the, 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 the song he has made. What? <laughs> Good Citizen, written by Winston the Wee, sung by Sparrow, is my favorite Sparrow song. When does someone really become a good citizen? I'd like to know for sure. You see, in Good Citizen, Sparrow is actually not singing about smut, not singing about um, frivolity, not singing, up, singing about carnival, but he's actually talking, you know, using serious, serious lyrics to talk about the nationhood of Trinidad and Tobago. My favorite Sparrow of all time is a song called Lion vs. Donkey, the rematch. So you never hear that. All them animals gone crazy. Beating man by a bossy. He only referee. He are not against donkey balling. Beating man by a bossy. A donkey is an ass and he have no brain. Lion bite away donkey tail. I had the poor ass in. Sparrow's legacy is being the king of Calypso, the king, the greatest Calypsonian of all time. Hands down undisputed. When Sparrow came on the scene, um, very early in his career, he won the, 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 the Monarch. 1956, I believe, he won the Monarch. And the, for, for winning the Monarch, he got $40. And just by comparison, there was a, another competition called the Carnival Queen competition. That has nothing to do with singing or anything, right? That, that is a whole next thing. But the Carnival Queen got something like $6,000 or $7,000. And so Sparrow couldn't understand why he as the Calypso Monarch or the Calypso King as it was known as the time um, was getting this $40. And so the, the following year he took a stance, you know, he, he boycotted the competition. If you fast forward to now, 
where you see artists getting a million and how much ever for, for that first prize. You, you, you had to kind of think back of, of, of that stance that Sparrow took way back in, in 56, 57. To the mighty Sparrow, you have done as well. You have done the world well and thank you for representing Calypso and the culture in the very stellar way that only you can. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Thank you for all that you have given to our culture and continue to win. It is important that we recognize people like Sparrow for the works that, that, that they do and doing still. Um, and also to always make that connection and always understand who shoulders be standing on people in entertainment now. Um, the people really blaze the trail for me. I want to take this time to wish the Calypso King of the World, the Slinger Francisco, happy birthday. And we had to do it in this style, right? Happy, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I hope all your dreams come true. Happy birthday, Mighty Sparrow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the birthday. Happy birthday to you. Big up the mighty sparrow. Much respect. Legend. Nobody.